What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. This video you will learn how to solve this trick equation. The equation is saying that solve this 6 sine squared theta plus sine theta minus 1 equals to 0 when theta is between 0 and 2 pi. So the first thing I need to do for solving trick equations like that I need to factor this quadratic equation we need to solve it by factoring or any other method that it's convenient so I'm gonna use AC method 6 times negative 1 is gonna be negative 6 and the coefficient here is positive 1 so we are two, looking for two numbers multiply 2 negative 6 and add 2 positive 1 these two numbers is going to be 3 and negative 2. 3 and negative 2 when you multiply this negative 6 and when you add it it's going to be positive 1. Then I will rearrange the original equation. It's going to be 6 sine squared theta. Instead of plus sine theta I will write 3 sine theta minus 2 sine theta. So it's going to be 3 sine theta minus 2 sine theta minus 1 equals to 0. Then I factor it by grouping here 6 sine square theta plus 3 sine theta. I need to factor the GCF is going to be 3 sine theta. 6 sine square theta divided by 3 sine theta is going to be 2 sine theta. 3 sine theta divided by 3 sine theta is going to be 1. And here the GCF is going to be just negative 1, which I put just negative here. That will be 2 sine theta plus 1 equals to 0. Then I need to factor 2 sine theta plus 1 and I have 3 sine theta minus 1 equals to 0. Then since two expressions multiply each other is going to be 0 it means that either this expression is 0 or this expression equals to 0. So we have 2 sine theta plus 1 equals to 0 or 3 sine theta minus 1 equals to 0. If you solve it for each of them, here we have sine theta equals to negative 1 over 2, and here we have sine theta equals to 1 over 3. Now sine theta equals to negative half. Sine theta is negative when we are looking for quadrant 3 and 4. Based on the cast rule, sine is negative in quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. Sine pi over 6 is 1 over 2, but here we have negative 1 over 2. So when we are talking about quadrant 3, as we had it before, it's going to be pi plus theta. And here, whenever we have a number in quadrant 4, we need to rearrange it in terms of 2 pi minus theta. Theta in this case is pi over 6. So it means that one answer is going to be pi plus pi over 6. One answer is going to be 2 pi minus pi over 6. So when you add these two, pi plus pi over 6, you need to have the common denominator here and here. That's going to be 12. So we have 7 pi over 6. And here I will have 11 pi over 6. So these are the two answers for negative one half. And the other one is sine theta equals to positive one over three. In this case, the answer is gonna be on quadrant one and quadrant two. Sine theta equals to one over three. I need to find out the sine inverse. So theta is gonna be sine inverse of one third. I need to sub in the calculator. That will give me point 34 radian or 19.5 almost degrees. Point 34 radian is going to be the answer in quadrant 1. I need to find the answer in quadrant 2 which will be pi minus theta. So which will be 3.14 which is pi minus point 0.34 3.14 minus point 0.34 that will be 2.8 so I found all the four answers. It's going to be 0.34 radian, 2.8. We have 7 pi over 6, which is this guy, and 11 pi over 6, which is the one in quadrant 
4. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a, a message or comment if you have any question and I get back to you as soon as possible. I will leave some more examples and playlists in the description if you need more practice questions or you need to have more examples you can take a look to their description if you found this video useful please like it and don't forget to subscribe this channel you can recommend it to friends as well you can find out lots of videos regarding math and science thank you for watching today and have a great day